it has been reported that at least three men reported and highly, highly, highly encouraged that at least three men will file police reports and are lawsuits against Bishop Thomas Dexter Sr. But one of those men have already did lives on it, has already made videos on it, has already talked about it, and it's open and it's dealing with it in public. The only reason why he came out in the first place is because the allegations surrounding Bishop Thomas Dexter Sr. and Sean P. Diddy Combs and for the Christmas celebration at the Bishop Church, the Bishop said he did nothing wrong to nobody. And he had this arrogance see about him to the point where he's untouchable. Then and only then Bishop Manasseh Jordan came out because he felt like that he was trying to get away and presenting himself as perfect and without spot and without blemish. And it really hurted him to come out. With that being said, there are text messages that the Bishop Manessa Jordan has. People understand church people are very trusting, gullible, don't think a lot, just feel a lot. And I know some people are going to be like shocked and they already are shocked from seeing the picture that a 60 year old man sent a 25 year old young boy of him flexing and all of those say he won't flex and look at his hands. He was flexing and his chest was sitting up. See how mine do when I do that? And said, I'm thinking of you at 2.33 a.m. That was a lot for some people to absorb. And some people say, okay, well, that doesn't mean anything. Now, just put yourself in Bishop Jordan's shoes or my shoes who have children. If a 60-year-old person of the same sex as my child is sending them a picture at 2.33 a.m. of them saying, I'm thinking of you. I have a problem with it, and it's inappropriate. May the 26th, 2016, at 2.33 a.m. I looked at that picture. I said, this is like deja vu. Because that's the same thing Eddie did flexing and was in the exact same color shirt. I said, now wait. This cannot be a return piece. Let me look closer. And I saw where he was squeezing his fist flex. And you can see it even in his forearm. And trying to sit his chest up. And said, I'm thinking of you. I said, this, this, is, this is the exact same kind of going on. If you want to believe that that's what. Eddie Long was doing. If you're going to believe that's what Eddie Long was doing, you can't help but believe that's what Bishop T.D. Jakes was doing. It's the exact same play. I'm thinking of you at 2.33. Am I saying that Bishop T.D. Jakes should be thrown away? Hell no. The contributions that this man has made, you can't, what you, what you, come on. But what I am saying is that you and I can love Bishop T.D. Jakes and at the same time say what the hell we think or call out a wrong thing. NASA and everybody else who have experienced similar to what he experienced at the hand of Jakes or any other leader, you can possibly trigger them up. And I know Manasseh didn't even know how he was bothered until we started going through the text messages and he said oh my god I, 
I had to, I forgot about this part of the conversation. I, you know, and getting triggered all the way up. And then really come to realization, oh, I was used. And because I did not do what he wanted, then I was dropped. And that, that's just not a good feeling. It is horrible. Can you let Lotley know that I'm live, Kendall? He, Lotley is calling me. Okay. No, 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 I'm live on IG. And um, I did not want to take all the pictures that I took when I wasn't supposed to be taking them and put them out. Because as I said before, I don't think that that would have been kind to Manasseh. I don't think it would have helped the, the story because I, the story is predatory grooming. The story is not getting into the salaciousness of what Jakes was saying to Manasseh like, have you ever had somebody to play in your booty hole? See, if I had led the conversation with that kind of stuff, everybody would have gotten into the salaciousness of it. One was 60 and one was 25. One was completely estranged from family and friends and just out in a world that he had never been in a world in that type of environment before by himself. So if a man at 25 is vulnerable, imagine a woman. So we get a glimpse in this, these clips that I have composed to see what's going on and how everything is moving along. As someone who has been in the church all my life and who can run down some things and how things happen in the church and and seeing things from the backdrop and now outside of the church looking in it's heartbreaking that the pastors can't even be real with the church members they can't even come out and tell you that they're hurting or that they are sick without you putting a stigma on them. So they have to cover it up and they have to hide because the pastors who don't cover up and hide and be their real authentic self, you shun them and you outcast them and you hold counsel for them um, to the point where if they don't confer with the counsel or if they don't agree with the counsel, you excommunicate them out of the church. So they got to be fake. That's the only way to live up to your standards. And I'm talking about you as a congregation. They have to pretend and they have to be fake. Because if any bishop, who, any bishop, mega church status, who is famous, come out and say, they like a little same, same thing on the side or they start cussing or they start just being themselves, you're going to drop them. Or if they believe in a different theology, you're going to drop them. These people can't even be themselves because you're going to take everything they have worked hard for away from them because you don't want the truth. And I'm talking about church people, Christians, congregants. You don't want the truth. You want these people to show up and be perfect because you need someone to identify with because you don't know who you are. You need, oh, this is my bishop. This is the church I attend. Do you see lot Nan and the boo boo? Do you see the big church I attend? My bishop is better than your bishop because you don't know who you are. So these people who has so much weight and I'm not making excuses and you know I'm not has so much a weight on their shoulders because they can't even be them authentic selves with their congregants. Because you look at them funny. God forbid one of the bishops with the mega church come out and say, you know what? God loves everybody. Even the people who don't call on his name. You know what? No one's going to hell. Because there isn't a hell. You know what? 
Jesus died for everyone, even if that's in the Bible. And that said, Bishop, come out and say that to the world. You're going to hold meetings after meetings and the uh, Council of Bishops is going to come. Wait, hold on. That already happened. So do you see why these other bishops don't want to come out and be them authentic selves with you? Because you as the people who go to church and you as the congregants can't handle their truth.